Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a super simple version of the bloom technique. All you need is paint and flow trowel, so let's jump in and get started. I'm going to be using my Primal Flow Premix Ready to Pour paints in titanium white, cobalt turquoise, plum perfect, and ink and gold. And this is my cell activator. It's the Amsterdam titanium white acrylic paint mixed one teaspoon paint to two and three quarter tablespoons flow trial. And what I'm pouring on is actually some resin coasters. They didn't turn out. So what I did was just flooded it with the Primal Flow titanium white paint, added the puddles of my colors. This one I'm going in with the plum perfect ink and gold cobalt turquoise and then the last white color you'll see me add is the cell activator which is that Amsterdam titanium white acrylic paint and you just go in and give it a blow with your lung power super simple and easy you don't want to blow super hard when you go down because your cell activator will kind of bottom out and your cells won't turn out as pretty you kind of just want to glide evenly over your puddles of color if that makes sense. This technique is so fun and easy to do. I've also done it before um, mixing my own paints where I just used um, one part paint, 2.5 parts flow troll, and it worked out just as perfect as these ones. So if you don't have the Primal Flow paints, um, you can definitely use your own paints. I will link the video at the of me doing that um, using my own paints and my own mix. I'll link that video at the end card of this video. Just click that and it'll take you straight to it so you can check that one out. So yeah, I'm gonna go in and do some wooden cutouts now. I had, um, a, I, these were re-pours, they didn't turn out, so I was like, I'm just gonna pour over them because these ones were turning out really pretty. And if you wanna check out the Primal Flow paints, I'll link all their information in the description box. Um, like I said, they're pre-mixed and ready to pour. All you have to do is shake the bottle and they're good to go. My favorite color is that ink and gold, and you'll see at the end um, with the dry results it's just a really gorgeous metallic gold. It's so pretty. And here's a close-up of what the cells look like after you blow. It just, that Amsterdam titanium white works really well to give you that really awesome cells and lacing. And this is the last one I'm going to do, and then I'll bring you guys in for a close-up so you can see how they turned out. Um, the cells will grow and develop, so you just kind of have to let them sit for a little while, and they'll definitely change a lot. So here's the first one that we did. Turned out really cool. I just love that ink and gold. Um, the second one that I did with the Plum Perfect as the base, I think that one's my favorite. That's this one here. I think that I think it looks like a butterfly. I don't know. It just turned out really cool. And they all stayed just like this as they dried. Everything dried perfectly. And this is the third coaster. I don't know if I'm going to return these into coasters and give them a resin top coat. Um, so I did coat them with two coats of the Rust-Oleum Gloss Two Times Clear Coat Spray. I might turn them into pretty garden stones and put them out in my garden. I'm not sure yet. And then this is the last one, the coaster that we did. And then here's the square cutout. It turned out really cool. Check it out. This one has some really cool, fun details. So this color combination from Primal Flow Paints, one of my favorites too, the Plum Perfect Cobalt Turquoise and Ink and Gold. They go really nicely together. And here's the last heart. So what I'm gonna do is let them dry for a week and then hit them with two coats of this Rust-Oleum Gloss Spray on a nice day. And then I'll bring you guys in for a close up so you can see what they look like all dry. And here they are. Look at how pretty and metallic that ink and gold is. The gloss spray just really makes it pop. I like to use that spray on my acrylic pores too. Um, it has UV protection and it gives them a really nice glossy spray. So be sure to check it out and try it. Um, I have a hard time with getting brush strokes whenever I try to use varnish. So I really like using the sprays. 
I think these turned out really cool. I just love these colors together. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and I hope you give this technique a try. Um, I know the traditional version of the bloom technique requires a lot of ingredients and with my version all you need is paint and flow trawl. And like I said, I have um, done this technique successfully before mixing my own paints with just acrylic paint and flow trawl. So I'll be sure to link that video at the end card screen of this video. Just click that and you can go check that out. Um, you don't have to use the pre-mixed ready to pour paints if you don't want to, but I love using pre-mixed paints. So check out Primal Flow Paint if you guys want to give these paints a try too. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys are all doing good and I will see you on Monday for another video. Bye!